Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos which explain the steps to develop different types of data sources and presentation projects in ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. In this demonstration, we will show you how to create an iPhone presentation project. This will allow devices running on the Apple iPhone operating system, including the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad devices, to access the T27 server application running on the MCP system. To create an iPhone presentation project, we should have created a data source project. In this demonstration, we will use an MCP T27 data source project created for an eBank sample application. Let's get started. We have already loaded the MCP T27 data source project. Some of the fields in the server messages, which were generated automatically when capturing the T27 terminal screens, are not required to be displayed on the web pages. So first, let's hide such fields. Double-click the Accounts server message. Select the Input field 0 field. In its Properties window, change the Visible property to False. Now, select the Input field 1 field and set the Visible property to False. Let's save the changes. Note that since the Auto Recreate Client Message option in Data Source Project is set to True, whenever we save a server message, the corresponding client message will be automatically recreated. Similarly, we can set the visible property to False for the fields of other server messages that are not required to be displayed on the web pages. We will add a new Visual Studio project by selecting Menu Option File, Add, New Project. We will now see the Visual Studio New Project dialog box. Let's select the Mobile Project type under the ClearPath Presentation node. We are creating an ASP.NET based iPhone application, so select the project template ASP.NET iPhone Web App. Let's name our presentation project as iBank. Leave the location to the default value and click OK. We will now see the Presentation Generation Options dialog box. This dialog provides options to control the default look and feel of the controls on the web pages generated. In this demonstration, we will accept the default settings and click OK. Now, let's build the solution by selecting menu option Build, Build Solution. As we can see, during the build process, ePortal Developer generates the web pages corresponding to client messages in the data source project. We can test this iPhone presentation application in Visual Studio IDE using the Safari web browser from Apple to simulate the iPhone. We should use Safari rather than Internet Explorer as Safari is more likely to render the iPhone application correctly. Safari can be downloaded from the Apple site. When testing a web application in Visual Studio IDE, it launches the default web browser configured on the machine. We need to make some changes in the project to make sure that Safari is launched during the testing. In the Solution Explorer, right-click on iBank and click on Properties. Then, click on the Web tab. Select the Start External Program radio button. Click the Browse button labeled with ellipses and browse to the location of Safari Executable. In the Command Line Arguments text box, enter http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 4938. 4938 is the port number used by the ASP.NET development server. We can see this value in the specific port text box below. Save the changes by clicking on Save Toolbar button. We can now test this iPhone presentation application. Right click on the iBank project and select Set a Startup Project. Then select the menu option Debug, Start Debugging. 
This will start the mobile application in debugging mode. The first page displayed in the browser is the logon page. We should enter a valid user code and password on this page. For this demonstration, we will enter user code and password values as web dev. Then click the send button. After successful login, perform action page will be displayed with a choice field for doing eBank operations. Please remember that we have captured T27 screens for getting the account details and doing the fund transfer. Their corresponding choice values are 1 and 2. Let's enter the choice value as 1 and click the send button. This will open a web page which displays the account details. Click on the send button to go back to the perform action page. Now let's enter the choice value as 2 and click the send button. This will open the transfer funds web page. Let's enter the fund transfer details. From as 1 which is interest checking account ID. To as 2 which is money market account ID and amount as 2000. We will leave the optional fields blank. Click the send button to do the fund transfer. After a successful fund transfer, the confirmation page will be displayed. Click on the send button to return to the perform action page. As we can see, once we have an MCP T27 data source project, creating the iPhone presentation application requires minimal steps. Here, we have demonstrated two eBank operations and corresponding web page navigations. ePortal Developer provides capabilities to customize the web pages generated by default. For example, we can add new controls, change the style of existing control, or remove them if they are not required. We can rework on some of the items on this page which were generated by default. Instead of asking the user to enter a numerical value, we can provide links for doing different eBank operations. Now enter choice value as 2 and click send to navigate to the transfer funds page to see what changes can be made on this page. Notice that from field is represented using a text box. The server program expects the account ID numbers. A value 1 for interest checking. 2 for money market and 3 for visa credit card. We can make it a radio button for easy selection. Similarly, notice the text box for recurring transfer field. This field is intended for a boolean value. Instead of asking the user to enter true or false, we can make it an on or off button. Also notice the send button. We can change the label on this button to something more appropriate like transfer. Click on the sign off button to close the application. Now let's stop debugging by clicking debug, stop debugging so that we can make some of these changes on the pages. Also make sure that all the ASP.NET development server instances started by the Visual Studio to host the web application for testing are stopped by clicking stop on them in the system tray. Now let's create a series of links to navigate to the next page on the perform action page. In the ePortal message window, double click on the server message perform action. Select the choice field. In its properties window, change the control style value to link button list. This will generate a control on the web page which consists of a series of hyperlinks. Click on the collection browse button for property, list items. Click the add button to enter the choices for the perform action page. View account balances with value as 1 and transfer funds with value as 2. When the user selects a choice, the corresponding value will be used to navigate to the next tab. Click OK to finish adding the choices. Let's save the changes. Now, this change needs to reflect on the corresponding web page. 
In the ePortal message window, right-click on the client message, perform action, and select Reconcile Presentation. Click OK on the Reconcile Presentation Files dialog box and click Yes on the next dialog box to confirm all of the Reconcile operations. This step synchronizes the web page with its corresponding client message. Now, let's make the changes on the Transfer Funds page. In the ePortal message window, right-click on the client message Transfer Funds and click on Open Presentation. An Open Presentation Files dialog box is displayed. Just click on OK. This will open the TransferFunds.ESPX page. Now, let's click on the Design tab at the bottom left corner to switch to Design View. Select the Send button and in its Properties window, change the text field value from Send to Transfer. Let's save the changes. In the ePortal message window, double-click on the server message Transfer Funds. Click on the From field. In its Properties window, change the control style from text box to radio button list. Click on the Collection Browse button for property list items. Click the Add button to enter the choices. Interest checking with value as 1. Money market with value as 2. And Visa credit card with value as 3. When the user selects a choice, the corresponding account ID value will be used. Click OK. Now, click on the Recurring Transfer field. In its Properties window, change the Control Style from Text Box to Checkbox. When the Control Style is Checkbox, in iPhone Presentation Project, such a control is displayed as an On or Off button. Let's save all the changes. Now, these changes need to reflect on the corresponding web page. In the ePortal message window, right-click on the Client Message Transfer Funds and select Reconcile Presentation. Click OK on the Reconcile Presentation Files dialog box and click Yes on the next dialog boxes to confirm all of the Reconcile operations. Now, let's test this refined iPhone presentation project by clicking Debug, Start Debugging. On the logon page, we should enter a valid user code and password. For this demonstration, we are using user code and password values as web dev. Click the send button to log in. On the perform action page, we can see the view accounts balances and transfer funds as links. Click on the transfer funds link. As we can see, all the changes we made are reflected on the modified transfer funds page. We can enter the fund transfer details and submit the page for doing the fund transfer. This completes the demonstration. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.